Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Welcome back to the Black Arch series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, change your, your screen resolution and how to install various desktop environments. So after uh, installing uh, Black Arch Linux for the first time, you need to get it set up to the way you want it to be and the way you want it to function. And by default, as I mentioned, the desktop environments that it does come with, or rather the tiling window managers that it comes with, are Spectre. Uh, da, uh, we, we have Spectre, first of all. We have Openbox, Sluxbox, uh, which is the default one, uh, Awesome, and i3. Now, of course, you can change the default one uh, within, a, within the configuration, but uh, our main objective here is to understand how everything works. Now I have covered how the, uh, the I have covered the fact or the differences between a tiling window manager and a desktop environment. Uh, with a desktop environment, you get a much better feature set in regards to the amounts of functionality you can do with the graphical user interface. So it's more about user experience and um, and performance. But of course, many of you who use tiling window managers w will argue that you know it's much more efficient to use tiling window managers and it's much more efficient to use keyboard shortcuts and uh, key maps rather. So again, it's all up to you if you are, uh, if, if you do want to use the i3, uh, you know, tiling window manager, by all, uh, you know, by all means go ahead. I'll be making independent videos on how to customize them as well if uh, you guys want to see those videos. Uh, but for now, let's just talk about uh, a few things here, all right? So I'm going to log in. Uh, with my I can actually just log in with my root because I want to be doing a few important things here so I'm just gonna log in and uh, by default you can see we're using Fluxbox as I mentioned right so you can configure Fluxbox to uh, however you want it to look and function but that's not the goal here uh, the first thing you might realize is we cannot change the screen resolution that's because we're using a tiling window manager uh, if we want to play around with that and you know because we are in a VM and we haven't installed the VMware uh, tools yet which I'll be making a separate video on because it does require that uh, it is not scaling the resolution so by default we are in 800 by 600 so uh, the only way to change this is by using xrander now xrander is uh, is an abbreviation or is a configuration utility for the render which is an abbreviation for resize and rotate so this allows us to essentially resize and rotate our windows so again using uh, render is extremely easy or x render uh, i have to make sure there's a clear distinction there because there is one it's extremely easy so if i just type in x render here so let me just type in and hit enter what you will be greeted by are your uh, the various displays you have uh, connected so for example uh, we have screen zero which is the the screen i'm currently i'm currently connected to if you are running this if you have this uh, installed directly on hardware and you're running this and you have more than one monitor it'll display the options available for that particular monitor so you can see that the current resolution is exactly as i mentioned 800 by 600 the maximum it can go up to is uh 8192 by 8192 uh, so again these are the various resolutions you can use on this screen and it will resize it accordingly so how do we resize it uh, accordingly uh, now I know I'm running this in a VM so the scaling will not be perfect that's something to take into consideration now after in, I install the VM tools uh, you it will be scaling correctly but irregardless once we install the desktop environment you can then scale much more easier so I will scale this um, let's see if I wanted to scale this to 1280 uh, by 960. No, let's try 1280 by 1024. So to do that, I would type in xrender. I use the screen option here, or the screen parameter. The screen uh, is screen zero right over here. And we now are specifying the size, right? So the size is going to be uh, 1280 uh, 1280 by 1024 so 1280 by 1024 and I'm going to hit enter and I should have resized uh, the video now and you should be seeing this in 1280 by 1024 so yeah that is essentially how to uh, to to use xrender to resize now of course you can resize it to whatever you want now for more uh, for more flexibility with all of this I recommend installing a desktop environment so I'm going to be showing you how to install the various desktop environments available to you um, so the first desktop environment you might want to install is GNOME. Uh, you, so there's GNOME, XFCE, KDE, and MATE. Those are pretty much the best ones I would recommend installing. Now, installing them is very, very simple. I'm only going to be installing 
uh, XFCE, but I'll be showing you the various commands that you can use to install all the rest. So let's start with uh, let's start with GNOME. All right. So to do this, uh, we're going to type in sudo uh, pacman, of course, and we're using the S, uh, and we're going to say GNOME. Um, let's say GNOME and GNOME Extra, right? We want to install all the extras and that you simply type in enter and that's going to install it for you. Now, before doing that, I recommend synchronizing your package databases. So again, we'll wait for this to synchronize because we are going to be installing XFCE anyway. So we'll just wait for, for this to synchronize. And uh, there we are, should be synchronized any moment now. Always good thing to synchronize first, so you get the latest uh, packages. Now talking about latest packages, another good thing is to also install uh, the an LTS kernel, which I'll be showing you how to do as well. That'll keep things nice and stable. Uh, and I hope maybe I, I will actually consider using uh, Black Arch for a variety of videos, just to show you that it is really is an excellent distribution, because I have used Kali before and ParatOS as well. All right, so we have uh, synchronized our package databases. So let's talk about uh, XFCE. So let's install XFCE right now. All right, so sudo uh, pacman s and we're typing XFCE4, that's the latest version. And we also want to install XFCE, uh, what was the package called? Um, we want, was it the dev tools? No, it was the goodies, I remember. Is the goodies package still available? Um, not sure it's there anymore. Uh, so let's just install XFCE4 uh, and let's hit enter. All right. Um, so we it's going to prompt us to install all of these, uh, the various extras here. So for example, you have XO, uh, you also have Thunar, the Thunar file manager. So we don't have to install that again or right now. It also comes, yes. So this contains everything that we'll need. Um, so I'm just going to hit enter. I'm not sure what happened to the goodies package. Um, so let me just scroll to the bottom here with the VM so you can see what's going on. So proceed with installation. Yes, we want to proceed and hit enter. And I'm going to wait for this to start downloading and installing. And uh, I'll get back to you when this is done. All right, so XFCE is uh, completed installing successfully. So that is how to install XFCE. Very, very simple. Uh, let's talk about uh, Mate. Installing Mate is very, very simple again. Let me just go back up here. Should have actually stuck to the default resolution, but in any case, we can just install it. So installing um, installing Mate is very simple. So again, sudo pacman uh, s Mate, and uh, we have the Mate, I believe, what was the other package called? Mate common. Uh, we need to, uh, what? I don't think it does come with the extras anymore. Um, yeah, so it doesn't come with the extra. So again, you can just use the Mate. Uh, you can just use Mate by default and hit enter and that should install Mate for you. And of course, I know we're going to always have some KDE fans uh, in the comment section, always, uh, you know, getting on me, uh, getting on my back about not covering how to install KDE. And that's again, extremely simple. So sudo pacman uh, s and that is plasma. That's the latest version. And of course, you can use that as well. All right, so that is essentially how to install any of these desktop environments. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reboot now and I'm going to boot back into the login screen and we'll specify XFC so that we can actually customize it a little bit. So I'm just going to reboot and I'll get back to you when it has rebooted. All right, so we're back onto the login screen and we can now specify our desktop environment. So I'm going to go for XFCE here. And uh, the user is going to be root and let me enter my password and hit enter and we should be taken into the uh, XFCE desktop environment now. So we're going to give that a few seconds to, uh, to set up if this is your first time. So there we are. It uh, looks like we have a few issues with the color here so, or the, uh, the theme. So uh, we'll just use uh, the default configuration there. I don't know whether you could see that. And uh, there we are. So welcome to XFCE4. It has a nice little dark theme to it, which is excellent. So uh, if we just open up applications here, I do want to change a few settings first of all. So uh, we want to change our resolution here, uh, which for some reason is uh, dark here. So again, we can just change it to something like uh, 1280 by 1024 and we can hit apply. And um, let me just uh, close this up. 
I don't know whether you can actually see that. So uh, in the black arch menu, you can see that we have the various tools here. Now I'll be making an uh, additional video probably at the end of the series where I cover how to display uh, or how to get uh, all the various tools displayed because as you can see not a lot of uh, the tools are being displayed here uh, however if we just take a look at the settings here we take a look at the appearance uh, we now we might want to start configuring there we are let's go for a dark theme here and close that up and uh, there we are so welcome to black arch running xfce4 and this is really is fantastic right so again we can uh, we have all our uh, standard controls that you would expect with a desktop environment and uh, there we are fantastic so again uh, you know you can run all all the stuff that you wanted to run and uh, it's very very easy to navigate so uh, i like using xfc because i'm really comfortable with it and it just it just gives me a familiar interface that i i'm very comfortable with so again you can Test this out for yourself. If you are from, if you are comfortable using a tiling window manager, by all means go ahead. And uh, if we just check the file manager, it comes with it comes with Thunar, which is excellent. I love Thunar. It really is a good uh, file manager. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace, guys. Mm -hmm.